but it are. I want to share with you this morning one of the most moving stories in the whole of the Old Testament, and that is the story of Abraham and Isaac at Mount Moriah. You see, God called Abraham to leave his home at Haran and make his way to the land that God would show him. God also promised to make him great and a blessed nation. Abraham's faith was such that he was willing to leave Haran and follow God, not knowing where he was going. Abraham was given the promise that he would father a great nation. But at 99 years of age and Sarah, his wife, being 90, they had no heir. However, the God of miracle blessed them with a son and they named him Isaac. Then when Isaac was a boy, God did something that seemingly at first is terrible and difficult to take in. Listen to what God tells Abraham. Take your son, your only son, yes, Isaac, whom you love so much, and go to the land of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, which I will point out to, to you. Now, this is a real test of Abraham's faith. He is asked to sacrifice his only son, the love of his life, the heir to all his wealth and his only means of fulfillment of God's promise to be the father of a nation. However, Abraham somehow finds the courage to be obedient to God and takes that heartbreaking journey to the mountainous region of Moriah. He takes with him two servants. They cut enough wood for the sacrifice and off they go. When Abraham comes near to the place of sacrifice, he tells his servant to wait a while while he and the boy go up to the mountain to engage in an act of sacrifice. So Abraham and Isaac make their way, carrying with them only enough wood for the sacrifice and a knife. And as they approach the place of sacrifice, the boy asks his father, Father, the fire and the wood are here, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Can you imagine how Abraham must have felt at that moment when his much-loved son Isaac asked that all-important question? However, Abraham replied, Son, God himself will provide a lamb for the burnt offering. Abraham built an altar and arranged the wood for the sacrifice. He then bound his son Isaac and placed him on the altar on top of the wood. Then he reached out for his hand and took his knife to slay his only son. At this point, God breaks in and speaks to him, saying, do not lay a hand on the boy, he said. Do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. Abraham looked up and there in the thicket he saw a ram caught by its horns. He went over, took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering instead of his son Isaac. Wow, what an amazing story this story is. Abraham called the place Jehovah Jireh, meaning the Lord will provide. However, this is but a foreshadow of what was yet to come, when God himself would provide a lamb as a sacrifice for the sins of the whole world once and for all. And when Jesus came to be baptized of John in the Jordan, when John saw him, he said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. You see, the sacrifices of the Old Testament covered sin, but the sacrifice of Christ took away sin. The author of Hebrews says this, Day after day, every priest stands and performs his religious duty. Again and again, he offers the same sacrifice, which can never take away sin. But when this priest had offered for all time, 
one sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God. You see, the priest had to stand because their work never came to an end. But Christ could sit down because once and for all, he had offered himself as a sacrifice for your sin and for mine. And so he became the Lamb of God, slain for your sin and mine. And so this morning, heaven sings, worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honour and glory and blessing. To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honour and glory and might forever and ever. And we say this morning, Amen. Be blessed as you listen to this song. Po Bendith, enjoy the day. Thank you for the cross.